Bitcoin universe. This is the Bitcoin miner here. I got to close the door to keep the static pressure on. It's uh, quieter outside of my uh, box. And if you watch some of my other videos, I'll explain why all of my Ant Miner S7s are in a box and I have them downstairs in my crawl space. So, today in this video, I'm going to talk about power. And, you know, I was kind of a newbie at one point in time and had a lot of questions and had to do a lot of research. So, bottom line is I would suggest running your Ant Miner S7s off of 240 if you can. Ant Miner S5s. Uh, run just fine off of your normal 110 15 amp circuit. Um, I did use EVGA T2s, um, the platinum, excuse me, not the platinum, the EVGA 1600 T2 Supernovas uh, right there to power uh, my Ant Miner S7 was the power supplies that I chose to go with. I tested them initially, running them on 110 power supply, using those power supplies, and they ran just fine. Um, I do not believe I got any more hashing power. Um, I was looking at the amperages and doing a bunch of tests with some meters and so forth, and I was able to, I was running about 11 amps or so, 11 and a half amps per Ant Miner S7. When we upgraded to 240 as a test to see if they would reduce the amount of uh, Ant Miner or, or reduce the amount of power that they would use or amperage, it did seem when I upgraded to 240 it reduced it a little bit um, because I believe of the efficiency from the power supplies from 94% to 96 plus percent using 240 so to me the amount of power I'm gonna save which could be on rough numbers $200 a year on four amp miner s7s uh, the 2% running 24 hours seven days a week it was worth it to me um, to go ahead and upgrade to the titanium's um, power supplies instead of just the golds um, I thought about buying the Ant Miner S7 power supplies that they uh, provide. Um, unfortunately, you know, they just—they were new. There was no test history to them. Um, they were a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, again, the amount of money I'm putting into these things, uh, I, you know, power supplies or something that will last much longer potentially uh, than just the miners. You can always, you know, keep the power supplies for other purposes, computers, and so forth. Um, I went ahead and decided let's get the best that I can get uh, for my computers. I'm, a, you know, I like playing games and stuff on computers, so I like my high-end computers. So why not like my high-end Bitcoin <laughs> computers is the same and treat them just as well. Uh, so that was my fuzzy logic on going with the higher-end uh, power supplies. I'm in this for the long haul. Um, you know, Bitcoins could have, have a lot of potential. There's a lot of articles, a lot of stuff I've read all over online. They say 10 years, it could be up in the tens of thousands. Again, I'm not one to totally speculate. It's, but it's, uh, you know, you can read the articles and go through it yourself. It's all online. But again, this video is to explain power. So when we first did the box, I ran um, the 210 to it excuse me 220 and I decided to upgrade it to the 240 the wire that we ran to it was not the 15 amp wire uh, which is normal house wire which is what you see here we ran the yellow wire which you'll see at home uh, Lowe's or Home Depot uh, this is 20 amp solid house wire um, they do say stranded is actually better but it's not gonna make that big of a difference you know this is just to prevent overheating so if you're running one amp miner S7, which is going to pull 11 and a half amps, um, either you're, you're, this is the perfect wire. You're not going to have a problem with overheating. So again, I was a beginner at one time, and these were the questions I had. And unfortunately, I have access to, uh, um, you know, to building people and so forth. And I was able to ask electrical engineers and HVAC engineers and people these questions. 
um, and what to use and how to do the wiring and how to do this safely. And, and I just wanted to spread the knowledge and I'm hoping that you guys can teach me as well. Um, I'm learning every day. I learn more and more. And it, this is such an exciting concept. And, um, I'm very excited to be involved and try to teach and educate other people as well. Uh, I'm not usually a person that to, you know, be on YouTube or do these type of things. Uh, but I, I felt that this is uh, something that I want to educate the world and, and try to help. And hopefully you guys can educate me and teach me and uh, we can grow and learn together. So, um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of tids up, uh, heads up on the powering and how I would did it and how we did it. Uh, as you can see, this is under my crawl space right here. This is normal house wiring. Uh, this is 15 amp house wiring. This runs your sockets. Uh, this is 20 amp house wiring. Uh, this is probably running to my septic tank pump, and that's why it's 20 amp um, versus 15 amp. And this is what I would suggest you guys running. Uh, if you guys are going to run miners in your garage and stuff, be very careful with uh, extension cords. Uh, I would personally not skimp on the, the, the extension cord. Thicker is always better. Shorter is always better. Um, yeah, I would go with the highest and thickest uh, power extension cords you can possibly get. Uh, and again, go with the shortest one that you can possibly use if you're going to be using extension cords uh, for powering your ant miners. Um, I think I, I don't know if I pointed out over here when we under the crawl space, what we did is we took one of the uh, 20, 120 volt, uh, 15 amp circuits that powers one of the uh, wall, um, wall outlets. And we just cut it and put a box in over here. Um, Fortunately uh, for me, this is you know not necessarily something that everybody wants to do and try at home. Uh, we had to turn off the power in order to cut that, make sure we had the right one, we had the right tools to test it. Um, again, I'm in the building industry. I have friends that are electricians that were here, friends that are in the HVAC business um, that have had helped me all along the way. Uh, so I've had professionals here uh, doing this, you know, rather if you have the know-how or not. Um, you, know, you know, please seek professional advice. This is just general uh, overviews. So again, uh, and there's the 110 going into the box. And go ahead and open up the box one more time and I'll show you guys. I'll go in here. I have to close the door for static pressure. These are my Antminer S7s right here. There's four EVGA power supplies. I have them on individual circuits that are 240 volt. I have tape to help seal the box off. Um, it's to prevent the air leakage from around the, around the uh, outlet receptacle. It's very important to try to keep this box as airtight as possible. Uh, so we don't get any dust or any outside contaminants inside of it. Uh, again, I would personally go with the EVGA, um, very high-end power supply, unless you were going to go with a very overkill uh, server power supply, uh, something that's going to be something where you're going to run it closer to 60%, um, where EVGA, the I actually have the Ampminer S7 uh, Batch 8, I believe. Yeah, the Batch 8 from December. Uh, they're pulling, uh, like I said, 11 and a half amps, probably closer to 11 amps since I'm running them on the 240 volts. Um, now, since they're running that, uh, Okay, now, and then they have the power supplies. The EVGA also, by the way, comes with these cool little the clamps. You don't have to do the paper clip trick. Um, if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, there is definitely a paper clip trick that you have to do uh, in order to uh, make these power supplies so that they're always on. You don't have to hook them up. What kind of other power tricks can we use in this video? Uh, 
now there was always questions also in my mind hooking up an Ant Miner S7. Let's say that you just got your Ant Miner S7. I should probably do this in a totally different video um, to try to explain that. More now, the more that I think about it, I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. Um, so again, power supplies. I go with high-end power supplies. Um, EVGAs are 1600 watts. The uh, Ant Miner S7s are pulling 1300 watts, which is just putting you about 82% of their loads. They handle it fine. Uh, so you really are going to want these big high-end power supplies that are going to be 1600 plus. Um, uh, again, I've been into this not too long, but I am loving every minute of it. It's really, really cool. Uh, it's very educational. Um, I'll have to educate other people about it. And this is my my box with four Ant Miner S7 running maybe about 1900 tera hash. And in total, I am pulling 11 times 4. Uh, 44 amps out of 240. Each amp miner S7, while we're on a power topic, costs about $100 a month. If your kilowatt average is about 10 cents, 10 cents per kilowatt. I'm going to come out of the box. Unfortunately, it's much quieter out here. I don't have to try to yell as much. Um, the uh, kilowatts is about 10 cents here in Durham, North Carolina. Um, and you will pay each Ant Miner S7 here will cost me about $100 a month to run. Um, well, guys, this is my power update and try to explain anything I can think of that has to do with power. Um, Quick thought, make sure your fan is on a dedicated circuit. Um, so, you know, there's no chance of any overloading or tripping. Um, and I'm sure you guys are also gonna have questions why this is in the box. And again, this is connected to my central heating and air system. The air is being drawn by my central heating and air system. This was helped me set up um, by a friend of mine. And, you know, instead of, you know, I'm already going to be heating and cooling the house. So I might as well just run one fan, uh, which is about the same cost as me running one of those fans. And so instead of running two, I'm just running one. It's a lot more efficient. Uh, the big fact, the biggest thing is humidity. The humidity from outside is very high here in North Carolina and probably in other areas. So we were worried about damaging the machines um, and moisture. So we are using the house and the AC system to reduce the humidity uh, within the, the system. Uh, and that was the main uh, factor. Plus we're uh, heating and cooling the house off of this. And I'll do more videos about this later on. So again, guys, uh, have a good night. Let me know if you have any other power questions that I might be able to help answer for you and describe. And have a good night. See you, Bitcoin world.